Wow, Scorpio. You're in the money. You're in the money. You have a great month coming up. So let's get started. Um, this is going to be your love forecast for August 2017. We have a uh, Mercury retrograde coming and a solar eclipse, total solar eclipse. So uh, you can watch my videos on that coming up. I haven't done them yet. Um, on your indigo path. Welcome, welcome everyone. If you don't know me, my name is Cindy. I am the modern day spiritual advisor. I use multiple modalities to help you on your path. And now the author of my upcoming book series, Concepts Create Reality. So my beautiful ones, I missed you so very much. I'm glad to be able to have time, a little bit of time to be able to do this. So let's get started. All I have to say is, wow, you have a lot of stuff coming in August. Um, so in your first position, this is love. But some of you, your love um, or your energy of love has been in your money and reorganizing your um, lives. Um, I feel like a lot of you are finally standing up for yourselves. Uh, you're coming to a point in your life where you're standing up for yourself um, instead of just allowing people to do what they're going to do to you, right? So your first position has the Queen of Coins. I apologize for the noise outside, uh, if you can hear it. So the Queen of Coins, this is you. This is your present position. Um, you're in the money. Look at you. Uh, you have worked very hard. The Queen of Coins is someone that works very, very hard for what they have. And... Um, if she if you can capture her attention she's all in right so I feel like um, she's a little bit mysterious in, in some way she's very charismatic on the outside but uh, she comes from um, great like good morals and traditional backgrounds um, and that's kind of how I feel like you are in love you're even though you're open to a lot of different types of relationships or a lot of different types of love and experiencing that, I feel like you've come to a point in your life where you're understanding what you want in love. Like, I, I want to be in a solid relationship or I want to be single for some of you, but I want to be in a solid relationship, um, but I want somebody who's going to be even, even Steven. Like, I do, they do, and someone that I can feel comfortable with and don't have to hide uh, anything or don't feel the need to, um, like, being taken advantage of, right? So, I feel like this is your energy now. I feel like this is your energy in August. So, for those of you that have never seen me, um, I always say this from Spirit. These are the energies that I see in the month of August. It is always up to you whether you want to accept and allow or deny. That's kind of up to you and your path. So what's crossing you being in this energy in the month of August is the star card. So some of you in love have reconciliation coming. Uh, some of you are, mm, I feel like, even though you're in relationships, I feel the reconciliation between you and your partner, like understanding each other on the same level. Like I feel some bonding going on and reconnecting. So in that case, it's um, coming back together. So that's for some, the people in solid relationships. For others of you, I do feel like if you're single, you have retrograde coming, you have people coming back into your life. Uh, you may have an ex, you may have a family member, you may have, um, yeah, a lot of you, it's family member, um, or you may have some friends coming back to you, um, <clears throat> and reconciling. Now, oops, oh, sorry, let me put it this way. Now, it is always, always up to you to under to, um, when they come back into your life, especially during retrograde, um, that's why I'm going to do the video about retrograde. It's um, especially during retrograde, when they come back in your life, it doesn't mean that they have to stay, okay? What it means is they're back to finish out that phase, to close out that phase with you. So if that phase means we understand each other 
and we're going to stay friends but friends from afar then that's what that means if they come back and they're an ex and you can say you know what um, as much as i loved this person or liked this person or enjoyed this person what i didn't like was this and that's reminding me of what i don't want right so um reconciliation just means that you've come to this point especially if you're retrograde so that you can finish out your cycle for some of you it's actually reconciling and saying you know what this person has grown i've grown and now we want to try something different but we're in a new phase okay so you're finishing out the old phase and then deciding whether to go on the new phase so i know that was a big explanation but that's what they're giving me now what brought you through this to get to here was the four of coins so I feel like a lot of you had gone within emotionally, uh, even some of you like detached yourself or sort of, um, I wouldn't say detached, that's an Aquarius thing. Um, you sort of became isolated um, so that you could really figure out what you wanted, so that you could really figure out who was in your life, who wasn't in your life, why that, all that was happening. And you were trying to grow from that in love because some of you are wanting that relationship and some of you have had that relationship with the partner that you have now but you've lost it and so you're trying to find it and that's what you came through and with that you got to here now in the first two weeks of August you have the page of cups so the page of cups tells me in the first two weeks of August you will be receiving news about love and I feel like some of you if you're single ready and open and willing you have, um, yeah, you have someone you're going to meet. So you're going to get news. You're going to meet them. And it's kind of up to you whether you're going to, where you're going to take it from here. Because some of you actually meet the emperor, which I see over here. But some of you meet a page. So um, if you don't know what a page is, I go by page, knights, kings and queens, emperors and empresses. Um, and a page is someone who's there to entertain you. A page is someone who's there to show you that you can smile again and laugh again. And it's to get you into that vibration so that you can get your king, queen, or emperor, right? So in the first two weeks, I feel like you'll get news about love. So for those of you that are dating, I feel like a lot of you are dating like someone away from you. Um, like maybe you're dating online. Or maybe you're in one country and they're in another country or you're in one state and they're in another state I feel like long distance and so in the first two weeks you'll hear news from them okay so mm, yeah for those of you <laughs> that are understanding that this is a page go have some fun smile laugh uh, this page can open you up emotionally just don't get attached understand that that person is there just to make you smile just to entertain you they're not here to stay okay now in your fifth position from your higher self i always ask your higher self what is the one message they want to bring through to help you move forward in love their answer is the nine of cups so they want you to know that they know you've been here you you struggled emotionally the thing with the thing with Scorpios is that um, you're so beautiful and when you love someone I mean it is intense deep love doesn't matter if it's real romantic family friends if you love them it's deep and intense so it really boggles you when somebody um, does you wrong like why do they have to do that right so um, they understand your hurt they understand where you've come from they understand um, where you're at now and they want you to know that the tide is turning they want you to know that it's gonna be time to be happy again see these cups that are full see that smile on his face it's time for you to celebrate it's time for you to be happy again it's time for you to live life again and not stay in here okay because some of you will go in then you'll come out, then you'll go back in to isolation. They don't want you to do that. They want you to live. You remember that happy place that you once had? You remember that place where you could just walk in a place and smile and laugh 
and really entertain not just other people but yourself especially really be happy that's where you're getting to that's what they want you to know is coming in the month of august that's what you're going to be working with okay now in your sixth position um this is the second half of the month um yeah so the second half of august you have an emperor coming so let me say this i see this two ways in love some of you have worked and worked and cleared and expanded and cleared and worked and you finally have this emperor coming in so an emperor to me is someone who is out creating uh, ruling dynasties um, has his own dynasty or has her own dynasty um, someone who's a mover and shaker in the world okay someone who is not afraid and the difference between an emperor and a king is that an emperor doesn't need someone by them an emperor wants someone by them okay so uh, where a king needs someone by them they need a partner an emperor does not if they choose you it's because they want you so um, you have this person coming in and the later yep, this so this is a potential uh, for those of you that are ready for those of you that have cleared for those of you uh, that are open and this is what you've called in that's coming for others of you that have uh, your work is where your love is or your family um, it looks like you'll be spending time doing that it looks like you'll be building on your dynasty and for some of you I feel like it comes through and that's why like your work your projects your money that's why I feel um, not just the nine of cups but this with it too so this is bringing back what's rightfully yours with this reconciliation and with you being the queen or king of coins um, you've worked hard to get to this point okay and you will receive it the king and queen of coins they get what they want because they've worked so hard for it now in your um, seventh position this is your fear so you have the five of wands that's always going to be a fear for you Scorpio um, your fear is that people are hiding stuff from you your fear is that people are lying to you your fear is that in love people cannot be completely honest and um, they do things that morally maybe morally you wouldn't see that was correct right and that's just a fear so remember a fear is there to remind you of what you want and what you don't want so focus on what you want now in your eighth position this is uh, how a loved one will be viewing you or dealing with you or this is the universe um, dealing with you or bringing to you so you have the knight of coins again you're in the money you're in the money you've got things going on uh, for some of you if your love has been in money this page of cups means um, you get news about this money or this project or this thing that's going to help make you happy and smile so in the eighth position with the knight of coins some of you are so you got one two three you Scorpios have a three potentials coming in some of you have three some of you have two some of you have just one but the if you have just one potential coming in you've got three shots at it you got three positions in it okay so this night is a beautiful night this night can open up their heart this night will be everything that you're wanting and needing for your phase right now a night is here to love and protect you until the king or queen comes so if you think about what a knight does they protect and they hold the queen until the king returns right so um, that's what the knight is here for for you um, and he's a beautiful beautiful knight he's very gallant um, yeah brave brave knight uh, emotionally available but is not here to stay okay now for those of you that have <clears throat> um your work or your projects or your money in love um that's where your love has been so this means you get an offering of money coming in this is something that you've been working really really hard at okay so congratulations now in your ninth position you have the justice so the ninth position to me is your hopes and dreams but i see it in a different way i see it like 
um, as the outer realm of the thing that you're calling in okay so you have the justice so you do have um, projects you do have some of you marriage because justice to me means like legal papers um, this means um, so it could mean in love wherever your love is your projects your money your house your cars um, your contracts that you have coming in you're bringing so it's not in your realm yet but you have the potential for it so it's it looks like it's coming in it's kind of up to you what you're gonna do and continue to bring that in or not but uh, for others of you I do feel like I'm gonna say this I feel like this is part of you becoming the Queen or the Emperor and so for some of you that means separation or divorce and this is not something that you don't know this is something that's been lurking and this is what's kind of coming in so I will say that for others of you I do see it as marriage coming in yep I do see I see it both ways so it just kind of depends on your path and where you're at um, so congratulations to some of you and honestly congratulations to those of you that for the separation because you're finally standing up for you and so in that regard I say congratulations so in your 10th position you have the three of wands so this this is what you'll be uh, dealing with in the month of August this is what you'll be moving through and attaining uh, you have the three of wands and that means you see that ship you're sitting there and you know it's coming you've taken all the action you brought your experiences with you and you know your ship is coming in you know um, that something is coming you just don't know what it is and so that's kind of what you'll be feeling and dealing that's how you'll be dealing with all of it especially in the love area like some of you I feel like you have to let go of someone or really let go of something even though that you kind of have here you're really sticking to your ground because when the queen of when the queen of coins makes a decision it's done and I feel like you've made your decision about some things so good for you so congratulations my beautiful ones um, please be sure to like share and subscribe thank you for joining your indigo path I love you love you love you bye